Orcas have quite a fearsome reputation. They're smart, predatory, swift marine killers capable of sinking boats and attacking ships just because they feel like it. However, despite all this, orcas almost never attack people in the wild. Furthermore, all aggressive encounters between orcas and humans happen under specific circumstances. And yes, when an orca does attack a boat with humans, it goes after the boat itself, not the people. Orcas have encountered humans in the ocean for centuries, yet despite not being the friendliest neighbors, they strangely refrain from attacking. It's, well, pretty odd to say the least. Want to know why they're not attacking humans? First things first, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks a lot. If you trace the ocean food chain from top to bottom, it always ends with an orca. Even great white sharks feel animal fear when they see orcas and leave the area where they appear. But we find orcas cute because they don't attack us. Sure, they attack boats, but only boats. Orcas don't care about the crew. Moreover, there are areas in the world where people often find themselves in the water together with orcas, and even then they don't attack. Although people, compared to great white sharks, are much more defenseless and orcas have plenty of opportunities to take advantage of this, why don't orcas attack? Scientists probably won't ever come up with a complete and final answer, like some absolute truth. Think about it, we're dealing with smart animals passing down generations of their own culture, yet we can't even talk to them. All we can do is make guesses. And experts have a few theories about why they don't attack, and all these theories make sense. One reason is that orcas are just really picky eaters. Moreover, they're quite traditional, with each pod having its own preferences that the animals stick to. Anything outside of their usual menu isn't considered food, including humans. Young orcas pick up eating habits from their mothers and stick to them because orcas actually highly value their traditions. It might sound odd when talking about animals. For instance, in the eastern Canadian Arctic, half of the orcas mainly feed on belugas and narwhals, while the other half primarily prey on ringed seals. In Greenland, orcas consume all available prey, while in Iceland, the Faroe Islands, and Norway, most orcas eat herring. However, a small number of orcas in Norway and Iceland also consume a significant portion of marine mammals like porpoises and seals. While all orcas are considered one species, they can be differentiated by their physical characteristics like fin shape, size, and saddle patches, as well as by their behavior and diet. In some cases, orcas that only eat fish play with marine mammals and kill them, but they don't consume them, even when the pod is hungry. The main reason they do this is because of a cultural taboo against consuming marine mammals. It's quite likely that this taboo extends to humans as well. If it's all about culture, people are off the menu simply because they've never been on it before, and it's in our best interest to keep it that way. A great example of restrictions within a group can be seen with dolphins. Orcas are the only predators known to regularly kill and eat Pacific white-sided dolphins off the coast of British Columbia and Washington. Scientists were surprised when they observed these dolphins playing right next to a pod of orcas, which didn't even attempt to harm them. Only later did they realize that this particular pod of orcas had migrated from the south and stuck to a no-mammals diet. How exactly the dolphins managed to figure out that the orcas posed no threat to them remains a mystery. Perhaps it was a daring act of bravery. Let's not forget orcas are known for their adaptability, so if they ever decide to break their taboos and start hunting us, they'll do it effortlessly. Besides, orcas can indeed hunt marine animals for practice or even fun. It's unclear why they don't consider humans as subjects for such cruel games. According to certain specialists, orcas might see humans as something weird definitely not on the menu. It's not something they should be concerned about, nor something they need to pay much attention to. Other experts believe that in the wild, orcas generally follow a pretty universal rule, don't attack humans. This is probably due to both biological and cultural reasons. Orcas have been around for about 11 million years, while we humans are relatively new on the scene. We might not match up to them physically, but clearly they've decided we're worth coexisting with. Well, thanks a bunch. Another explanation could be that we simply aren't tasty enough to make it onto the orca's menu. Yeah, they're incredibly picky eaters. Imagine a three-year-old child who suddenly decided to be fussy and now eats only one specific dish from a particular plate. That's how picky orcas can be. For example, they have a taste exclusively for the fattest Chinook salmon, paying no attention to the multitude of other fish swimming around. Even those with a more varied diet are quite choosy. Once, they hunted down a gray whale, but only feasted on its tongue. It's really unclear how they figured out what humans taste like if they've never actually tried them before. 
Maybe the sharks told them. Another reason why orcas might not eat us is that we don't look like any of the things they usually snack on. Compared to marine mammals and tasty fresh fish, it seems like we've got nothing much to offer orcas. Scientists studying the diet of orcas discovered that they mostly feast on fish. Only about 10 to 17 percent prefer marine mammals, which means for a significant portion of orcas, we're not even close to being considered food. I mean, sure, you could confuse a person for a sea lion, but we look nothing like salmon. Those orcas that favor fish won't be able to start hunting humans even if they decide to change their diet. Their teeth simply aren't built for it. They're too small and not designed for catching mammals, plus their jaws work differently. The teeth of orcas, which prey on mammals, are designed for grabbing and tearing apart their prey. In short, orcas that primarily eat fish aren't physically equipped to eat us unless they evolve specifically for it. You know, we've got a bunch of bones as well. Maybe it's too much for the orcas as well? Let's do some math here. A grown-up skeleton weighs about 22 to 24 pounds. When orcas hunt, they don't chew their food, they tear it apart or swallow it whole, bones and all. Considering that orcas can weigh over 6 tons, 22 pounds of bones wouldn't be a big deal for them. So it's not really about the bones. It's about the nutritional value. Orcas need to consume around 170,000 calories every day. That's about how many calories 85 people eat in a day. Yep, they're that voracious, considering their size. Scientists, not Hannibal Lecter types, figured out that there are roughly 126,000 calories in one person. So what does this mean? Well, we already know that most orcas stick to a strict diet, so if some pod were to suddenly start eating people, they'd only be interested in humans. Fish and other marine animals wouldn't be on the menu anymore. And here's the thing. An adult orca needs to consume at least one person a day, ideally two, to survive. Of course, it depends on the calorie content of each particular human. Orcas don't often live alone, they tend to hang out in groups of 5 to 30, but sometimes they get together in packs of 50 or more. So imagine a group like that would need to eat anywhere from 9 to 50 people every single day. That's just crazy. Where would they find that many people to snack on? Especially in colder areas where people aren't exactly lining up to take a dip in the water and become orca snacks. Let's take sharks. They kill about 10 people a year. That's roughly 0.02 people per day because they just can't manage more. While orcas inhabit nearly every corner of the globe, they rarely come across areas heavily populated by humans, so it seems like hunting humans wouldn't make much sense for them, and any orca attempting it would be doomed. By the way, that figure of 9 to 50 people per day, that's just the conservative estimate. Other researchers have estimated that an adult female weighing around 2 tons would need over 190,000 calories a day, while a male weighing 4.5 tons would require 290,000 calories a day. Just a reminder, a human body contains around 126,000 calories in total, compared to the usual prey of orcas, that's nothing. For instance, orcas have a thing for tearing out the livers of sharks, eating only the liver, and leaving the rest of the shark untouched. Once they've chowed down on the liver, they just swim away, leaving the body for other sea creatures. This is because the liver is the most calorie-rich part of the shark, and orcas aim to make each hunt as nutritious as possible. Oh, come on, it's just a liver, someone might say. It's not that big compared to a whole shark. And yeah, size-wise, that's true. But get this, the liver of a great white shark can pack up to 2 million calories. 2 million! When you put it that way, humans don't even come close. And it's the same story with the rest of what orcas catch. Let's take salmon, for example. On average, an orca consumes around 500 pounds of salmon daily. Typically, they eat about 15 fish in one go. In one whole fish, there are about 1,500 calories. So it's like 22,500 calories at once. It's like consuming just one-sixth of a human. It feels like catching salmon might be easier than going for humans, especially considering other marine mammals that orcas feast on. These creatures are way bigger than us, and they carry more fat, too, since they swim in cold waters. Porpoises can weigh up to 485 pounds. Dolphins, on the other hand, typically weigh from 176 pounds, which puts them in a close match with humans. However, there are dolphins that weigh as much as 518 pounds, leaving humans far behind. It's a similar story with seals. Their weight starts at 121 pounds minimum, but can go all the way up to a whopping 370 pounds. And they're definitely more nutritious. Not to mention larger prey like whales. A newborn sperm whale can weigh up to a ton. Meanwhile, a newborn blue whale can weigh from 2.2 to 2.7 tons. Yeah, and don't forget, hunting takes both time and energy. 
an orca's got to eat every day. That's why they aim for something bigger. Like, one gray whale carcass can feed 17 orcas. Sure, taking down a whale takes a lot of effort, but it's still quicker and easier than finding and devouring 30 people. At least whales are already in the ocean. It's not just about calories. Scientists found out that during evolution, cetaceans lost four out of the five basic tastes. They can't tell if food is bitter, sweet, or sour. All they sense is the saltiness of food, and it's got to be just right. A person weighing 110 pounds usually carries about 0.4 pounds of sodium chloride, which is about 40 teaspoons. Knowing that an orca needs to eat 1.5 to 2 humans, it turns out it would be consuming about 0.8 pounds of sodium chloride daily. But what about their regular diet? Two pounds of seal meat contain about 0.04 ounces of sodium. On average, seals weigh around 154 pounds, so that means each seal carries about 0.17 ounces of sodium chloride. Now let's compare the salt content in humans and seals. Maybe orcas simply understand that we're too salty for them. After all, they don't even need to chew. Humans sweat, producing salt, and orcas are smart enough to realize that. Let's all celebrate this together. Because if they decide to switch to a human diet despite all the problems, what would we even do? Trying to fend off an orca in the water is just not possible. On June 13, 2022, a trainer violated safety rules by reaching into the mouth of an orca she was working with. The orca bit the woman. Even though the orca let go of the trainer immediately, she needed urgent medical help. Surprisingly, just one bite led to multiple fractures in her forearm and wrist, despite the orca tipping the scales in a mere 2.5 tons. Not that big, really. Now imagine encountering a truly massive orca in the water. If such an orca decides to attack a person, it wouldn't just bite them, it would devour them. Surviving such an encounter would be impossible. Death would be quick and certain. There could be methods to resist these attacks, but we need orcas to actually start attacking to figure them out. You learn by doing, you know? A man in Kauai fought off a shark by jamming his fingers into its nostrils. Would that work with an orca? Hard to say. Maybe if you could reach their blowholes, which kind of serve as their nostrils and sit on top of their heads. But orcas might be too smart for such simple tricks. It's mostly just guesswork because there haven't been many attacks. Orcas only target boats. But people have come up with some ways to deal with that. There are plenty of ways, from dumping sand or pouring out some liquid overboard to blasting loud noises, including carefully curated playlists but they only work sometimes. So let's just hope that orcas never decide to change their diet and add humans to the menu. That would likely lead to casualties on our end and extinction on theirs. One like from you and let's call it a day. See you later.